guys, this is my entryway. I always keep a bench here because when people walk in, it's not very wide, but then like ladies can put their purses and things like that. And there is a little coat closet over here. I had somebody make this for me and I always keep it somewhere in my house because it just reminds me of the three of us. So off my entryway is my dining room and I have my leaf um, not opened now, but sometimes I put the leaf in. So it's just a matter of what's going on. So this is the other side of my dining room. This table I got like, oh my goodness, it's older than my son. So probably 12 years ago, maybe 11, 11 or 12 years ago. It has seen its day, I need to get a new one. But it's counter height and I do like it. And then I have bar stools because these are my bar stools when I want to make the table bigger. And I've had those for probably, oh gosh, a long time. I usually put my homeschool stuff up here. I usually have file boxes, but I actually had a dinner the other day and I took them out. So um, when I put the room back, I have not put the file boxes back actually. So this people compliment all the time and I love it. I actually found it on clearance at Hobby Lobby and it says, trust in the Lord and it's like, um these like barbed wire kind of things and i love the dark wood i love it it just reminds me of like how much jesus had to go through for us it's amazing right this is normally where we homeschool and do all the things these curtains um they don't sell them anymore they're from target i love them but they don't sell them anymore but now my taste is kind of changing anyway the rug is from walmart so nothing big there um, this was actually a Christmas present, but now that we're moving, we haven't put it up anyway, but now that we're moving, we're going to just put it up in our new house. This I actually got at a yard sale, y'all. I think it's so pretty, especially like, look at the legs. It's so pretty. And I'm really, really thinking about painting it white though in my new house, but I'm not sure. The picture above it is probably a good like seven years old, but it came from Kirkland's. So did the sconces, they came from Kirkland's. And so anything that was like darker wood, basically when I moved in here, I kind of put in here. So as you can tell what's on here is just some fun home decor. This was actually from TJ Maxx a couple of years ago. This is us when we were so young and my little guy was little, like, three months old. Um, these came from, I think Israel. Um, and I bought them from a friend of mine at like, she was having a yard sale. Uh, a friend of mine actually made this or had somebody make it for me. And I just love that because it was a friend who just feels like family. So I keep it out all the time. This nativity scene is actually from Jordan. And when I went to Jordan, uh, I bought it there. And I just love it. It's so smooth and just nice. I keep it out all year round because I just want to be reminded, basically. This little, I guess, doily-ish thing. It come, actually, I have like a set of three. I have like a runner and then two of these. You're supposed to use them like on your dresser and your nightstand. Um, they were actually my grandmother's. So I always keep one of those out. I still have the whole set. Um, just they don't always work in my decor. And this was a picture of us when we were young. My kid was three, I think. Three, four. And this I actually got from Walmart. And <laughs> it's interesting. It kind of serves as decor, but we use it all the time for homeschool. I swear, use maps and globes all the time. Never, never thought about it. Underneath is stuff from my dad. He has um, passed away, but he was a veteran. And so at his funeral, this was the flag they handed to me. That's actually his hat, and he always wore a hat. And um, he was very proud of his, he fought in Vietnam. So he was very proud that he was a, an army veteran. And that was something that he had made a long time ago. So I just keep that out. 
So on my table, the reason I need a new table is because of these white spots. If you put anything hot on the table, you get these white spots. Um, and it's kind of a funny shape, so it's really hard to find a tablecloth. But this um, is kind of a, it's like a traditional doily that's a star shaped that my grandmother or my great grandmother made. I'm not sure which one, to be honest. And then this is Pioneer Woman. I always put stuff in it for the holidays, but since we're getting ready to move, um, I have since not put anything in it for Valentine's Day. But I'll, that's actually a fun way to, easy way to decorate, I found. And then I always keep a picture of me and my dad out, because you know. And so over here is some of our homeschool stuff. And like I said, I usually have homeschool stuff lining over here and a whiteboard just kind of propped up kind of like this. So this is our vocabulary words we use um, for our science. We use the good and the beautiful for most of our stuff and I love them, oh my gosh. So that's our vocabulary thing. It also came with this timeline and when I got it, I just said, you know what, I'm just gonna stick it to the wall. It's like stuck to the wall with painter's tape so it's no big deal. But this is great because then I don't have to get it out all the time because it's like a lot of pages. This I eyed at Kirkland's forever before I bought it. It's old now, like at least a good like seven years old, but I love it. And I legit just live my life by it. So I love it so much that I have to find a place in my new house for it, even though the colors aren't really in my decor, but I might try to find something that says the same saying, just in maybe like white or something like that. And, yep, that is my dining room. So from the entryway, this is your view. My house kind of goes in a little bit of a circle. As you can tell, my kitchen's over there, my dining room's over here. It's hard to explain, but kind of goes in a circle. And this is my living room. I really enjoyed that it was on the back of the house so you didn't get all that light. It always stayed cool. It was very, very nice. My light bulbs are burnt out. So that's why I don't have my lamps on at the moment, but um, I'll come around and show you guys. So this is what you guys typically see in my cleaning videos. This sectional is from Ashley Furniture and I think it's called the Patel, Patolia. Um, and it's kind of like a, almost has like a sage green tone to it, I think. It's not as gray and things like that as it looks. And I got these tables from Ashley as well. And this is all probably a good six years old. So I try to style it with kind of the white to bring some light to the couch since it's so dark. But really what sold me on the couch was that I love this part of it. It's called a cuddler. They do sell couches like this that have the cuddler section. So I know you can still get them, but I love this. We love sitting here. You can tell it's well-loved, well-loved place. The picture above came from Lowe's and it was just a picture that we found. It wasn't very expensive at all. And the two sconces came from Amazon. And I love this picture. I had it up here without the sconces forever. Don't really love the sconces. I have to change the, I have to change the batteries because they usually light up and I do like it at night. So my end tables, um, they're actually kind of big. They don't look very big in on camera, but they're kind of big. So I kind of have to put a lot of things on them, I guess you could say. <laughs> uh, this is a picture of my son and uh, my husband, and I always put it on some books. These are books that um, I collect, some old books, and then I have some that were passed down in the family, but that is just on Leaves of Grass by Walt Whitman. This was actually made by my friend Nancy, and it's an old hymn, and it says, Nothing can separate us from God's love. Love that. Got these in California at Knott's Berry Farm, if you guys know what that is. And they're just wooden coasters, so they've just held up so well, and they're really, they're really, really pretty. So when I moved into this house, I decided to put this basket back out. I had this basket when I had an ottoman and I loved it. It was perfect because 
there wasn't like an end table to put your drink or a coffee table or anything like that and it worked out really good. It kind of ends up being a little bit of a catch-all, but you can't see into it. So it's a good place to keep our remotes and things like that in there. My two lamps, my other lamp and this one like this are both from Walmart and they weren't very expensive at all. This was from a, it was very, very old. I think like 10 years old. No, way older than that. Um, I think I got it almost 15 years ago now. It was from one of those like design parties where you could buy like art and decor for your house. And I've just always kept it. I just liked it. It kind of looks like a trunk. I don't know. Clock. Uh, this was from TJ Maxx. The cross was actually from the Biltmore. And I just thought it was so pretty. And then the books. These books were actually my grandmother's books when she was going through school. And she kept them. And she gave them to me when I was young. Like... 12 or 13 one year for my birthday because I would always go to her house and look at them. So she gave me those and like some things that she had made and I just love them. So I always keep them out. It reminds me of her and it's just fun to have old books out too. So I only have a small window here and the door here. So I don't have a ton of light in this room. Um, the curtains came from Walmart and I wasn't actually sure of them. The rod and everything came from Walmart. Um, but I think they're really pretty and I think they go well in the room. And I like the white on the back. This is the first time I've had a fireplace in a long time and I was so excited. Oh my gosh. I was like Pinteresting how to decorate your fireplace, all this stuff. We can't actually use our fireplace um, because they never had it like inspected. So we just signed a lease not to use it basically, like a clause in our lease. So, um, I do wish that I could have painted this part white. I think it would have been so pretty, but it's really pretty anyways. I got this little Bless Our House, and it was actually a fall decoration that I got at Joann's a while ago. But I just put it up there because I just thought it gave it a little something extra. I love the fireplace, though. I always think I'm going to change it, and then I never do. So... This clock actually came from Walmart and it's about 10 years old and uh, this is just a mirror that came from Walmart actually and it is a good seven years old. Uh, this came from a furniture store. My mom sent it to me and then all these signs came from Hobby Lobby just a few years ago, maybe three years ago. The C came from TJ Maxx and the plant came from TJ Maxx. So I tried to do kind of like tall, kind of like they say you're supposed to do a triangle effect. Tried my best with what I had and that's what came out. So I'm my new house does not have a fireplace so I'm actually going to miss it. But I just love the way the decor looks on it. Not really actually using the fireplace because... We don't have, we don't really rate fireplace weather out here in the south, let me tell you. So if you're sitting on the couch, this is what you look at. And I got these two chairs from Amazon and these two stools actually came with the bench that's in my entryway. And the chairs are kind of like a cream color. This blanket came from Walmart. This is just one of the pillows from my couch. And I need to get new pillows for my couch so bad. This is actually a bookcase from Target, and it's probably a good five years old, but it has held up amazingly well. It's so good. It's a really good height. So, and then we got our TV from Walmart. I bought the boxes from Target when I bought the bookcase as well. And this is just a picture of me and my husband, and this is a little kind of like a dice my mom sent me and it just says family and different different words. Over here I keep books. I don't keep a lot of books. I try to do a lot of digital books and that's a Bible right there. <laughs> but um, so this is pretty much all the books that I read, that I keep. But um, I know there is, there's snowballs in this, like to have a snowball fight, like fake snowballs. And this has like remotes and stuff in it. 
and then the other one actually has like um, video game and headphones and things like that. So, and I think we actually had to drill a little bit of a hole to put our DVD player, but it works just fine. That jar is one of our adventure jars, so that's a tradition that we do and we keep stuff from places we go. Over here, sorry, it is such a overcast day that I cannot get any natural light in here. This, I love this wall. I'll see if I can put a picture of it at my old house too, but I wanted like a gallery wall and this is just came to be. So these are about three years old, I would say, all of these. Um, the This one came from Big Lots. These little ones came from Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Kmart, Kmart, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby, Kmart, Kmart, Big Lots. Isn't that amazing that I remembered all that? Crazy. And... This I actually got at Kohl's a long time ago. It's like a chalkboard. And I found those pictures and I just put them in there when I was moving one time. And they have stayed ever since and I just feel like they look good. So um, the stuff down here is kind of hodgepodge. These are some flowers that I bought a long, long time ago. This just has random things in it. This is where our current adventure jar is with the older adventure jars. Um, just some candles. Uh, this is just a picture, a plant from TJ Maxx, candles. This is something that we had done. It's made out of wax. We had it done on Myrtle Beach one year. So, you can see that my little, my kid's hand is just little in it. And I thought that was, it's just different, fun. I love the top. I actually had the table that's in the dining room out here for a while and I liked this one because it wasn't as wide but this tree my mom actually got me from QVC and for the different seasons I usually put ornaments on it. So for like Valentine's Day I'd put heart ornaments. For St. Patrick's Day I'd put clovers, things like that. This is something I got at Hobby Lobby, and it has the Irish para, prayer on it, and I just love this. It's been in my house for about five years. I just love it. A diffuser back there, and these are just some pictures. This was my family, and that's me when I was a baby. That's me and my mom. That's my little son when he was about two. These are some roses that I dried that... Anthony gave me, so I just keep them kind of peeking out there. Uh, this was another one of those candlesticks that my mom sent. They actually don't match, and I don't know if they were supposed to be like that or what. <laughs> so um, I usually just put some kind of candle on top. Right now, that's all I have, so put that on top. I actually bought this in two separate pieces, so it's an easel with the little chalk sign. I used to like write stuff on it too, so I've used it that way. But a couple years ago when I moved, like I said, I just stuck them in there so they would like stay flat. The pictures wouldn't get ruined. And then I really liked it. So this is us and back in the day. My kid is like one. He's probably two there, 18 months, two. And then he's definitely two, I think, there. And probably seven or eight. So then you go into, I always call this Ryan's wing of the house. So it's my little hallway. Um, I put this up in my closet because it's super special to me. It is, um, me and my son, my husband was actually deployed because he was in the military. And these were like his first birthday pictures. And um, I wasn't sure I was gonna get pictures done with him or what, but I just did it so I could send them to my husband and I love it. So I always put this up in my house somewhere. I just love how they turned out. Over here, these are actually ultrasound pictures of, um, I had two atopic pregnancies and I could hear like the baby's heartbeat and everything, but they were just in the tube. So these are the ultrasounds of both of those babies. And I know that seems like morbid to keep, but I just never wanted to forget because they had heartbeats, like they were alive. So I always put them somewhere in my house, so. They're just right here for now. So probably what you guys see the most is this bathroom. 
Um, I love the mirrors in this bathroom. The light fixtures are, are pretty too, but I love the mirrors. They bought this house, the people who own it, from somebody who had flipped it. And they just did so good. They have granite countertops in the sink, in the bathrooms and in the kitchen. I just love them. And I love these mirrors. So I always put out two um, hanging towels because you ever go to a party, you use the bathroom, and the towel is soaking wet from everybody washing their hands? Yeah, freaks me out, grosses me out. So I always at least put two. Um, I just have, these are pictures of my son, and I always keep paper towels for that same reason. I always keep tissues in my guest bathroom. These frames are actually dresses from when I was a little kid, and my mom made little patchwork squares out of them. So I framed them and I put them in here. I know for sure that this was like an Easter dress and this was my preschool graduation dress because I vividly remember those. Um, these I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask my mom. I always put up a nice towel and tell my son you can't use it. And he's like, mom, I can't use the towel. So, and I didn't want a laundry basket in here, but I found this really narrow one on Amazon, which is perfect. And I think on the other side, it actually does say laundry. It's really cute and it's narrow because the bathroom is not very wide and I just didn't want this big thing kind of in the way. So, but otherwise I had clothes all the time on the floor right here. So I know y'all can feel me on this. So. What do they say, like where you put your shoes, that's where you should put a shoe rack. And I was thinking the same thing with laundry. So it actually says laundry right here. And I like how skinny it is. I thought that would be perfect. The mats actually came from Amazon. They're not my favorite, but they do work really well. So, hey. Up here in the corner, these are flowers from TJ Maxx, I wanna say. This I actually got at like a, kind of like a craft thing. And then this was my grandmother's. And when my grandmother passed away, it was in her bathroom. And she had cotton in it, so I just keep it out. This shower curtain came from Amazon. And I really like how just neutral it was. Because I wanted the bathroom to just be really, really neutral. So this is my spare room. So have some grace on me, I am moving. So those closets are actually emptied out. And then the desk actually has the granite countertops as, or counter as well. And my son had this room for a while and he loved that desk, oh my goodness. And then we end up switching rooms. And then, yeah, so my husband, somebody gave him those drums so he keeps them in there. This is all my donate pile. So everything that I'm donating, except for that computer, is in this pile right here and so that's why definitely have some grace on me my piano we actually put it in here too because it was wide and my son plays the piano he plays really really well he's really good and um it was really wide i was going to put it in my dining room but it was a lot wider than i thought <laughs> so and then these are the crates that are usually in the dining room that house like house all the homeschool stuff in it. So every day he can just put stuff back in the little files and everything stays contained. So, um, this is where we usually keep all of our homeschool um, books, like uh, basically our homeschool library. And I have moved all the books to the new house, but somebody actually made me this bookshelf. It was amazing. So we kind of like handcrafted and look at the inside of it. And I had him, I was like, I really want it to be gray wood, like stain it gray. And he was like, um, okay, like he thought I was crazy. But I love the way it turned out. So, and my house has a lot of um, wood that's stained gray, like my banister and stuff is. So, wait for tomorrow's video and you'll see it. So this is my son's room. You want to say hello? What? <laughs> Why are you calling my room messy? No, I was calling the hallway messy. So he requested bunk beds and his bedding. I'll take you over here. It's kind of dark in here too. But his bedding is these really comfy black and gray um, quilt from Target. 
and oh my gosh it's like the comfiest quilt ever and then this is actually one of those like zip up on the side for bunk beds and then I just put the quilt at the end but he never sleeps up here he always sleeps down here truth be told he wanted and he has a zillion stuffed animals and that's what he loves so hey he has Star Wars sheets and he wanted bunk beds so he could he usually drapes like blankets around and makes it like a cave don't you yes and you love it mm -hmm. it's fun right like a little Groot and he hung these posters up the other day. So cute. He usually has costumes that are right here. And that's usually in the other room. This chair. Um, there is a mask missing. It must have fell on the floor. My He hung these up the other day too. But my um, girlfriend actually had this made for him. I want to say on his sixth birthday. So I love it. We always hang it up in his room. See, we're moving. There's nothing in the closet. And y'all, yesterday it was packed. And then my mom sent him me these letters for him with the superheroes on them. Super cute. And um, I think they were from Hobby Lobby. But I thought it was cute to put them up there above the, the um, closet. So it's kind of hodgepodge because everything's moving. Um, I have two of these little tables from, and I've had them since he was like one. And so he kind of keeps them all around. And what he keeps his TV on is like a little chest that my uncle made for him. Uh, this is kind of the other side of his room. This room, this bookcase is built in, which was so nice. I'm going to miss it so much. But a bunch of those are my books from when I was a kid, actually. And then these are his books. The ones in front are the books that he can... Um, actually, they're not organized that well because I see some that are wrong because he's read a couple of those. But usually they're the ones that I say, like, go pick a new book for school. And those ones are the ones we haven't read. The ones behind, you can see it's longer. Those are the ones we have read. So we do that. He loves keeping all his things and all his collections. So I embrace it. I say, you know what? You're only a kid once and you can keep all your stuff. So this was like from his sixth birthday. Um, pictures of him, things I got him, things that he's made. Um, you know, he's made all this stuff. And just places we've gone. We used to get him a baseball every time we went to a baseball game because my husband loves baseball. These are little crafts that he's made. He actually um, painted this. He's super talented. And then he has a ton of stuff on his dresser because we're moving. And these were from a treasure hunt. He wants to keep them. And this is stuff that he's made back here. That's a fox that Grandma got gave him because him and grandma love some foxes um and just kind of random random legos he was getting cash allowance and that's what these drawers are for they were spend save and tithe now i actually got him a card um like a credit card type of a thing and it's been working a whole bunch easier for me and so he's not using that as much but this is just a lot of things that he has made a collection of seashells um just different things but it's kind of hodgepodge because we're moving right now he actually has another collection of seashells up there and that's from when we lived in north carolina and this um i don't know if it was a seagull i can't remember now but he brought all these clam shells and um by in our backyard and then ended up you know eating the clams and we went out and got the shells later on so those are up there, and he has a rock collection up there, too. Um, I always hang up all his hats over here, so. All right, so come on, let's go to my kitchen. And does everybody have studio lighting in their kitchen? Like, doesn't that happen to everyone? So this is, so this is my kitchen. I'm sure you guys have seen this a billion times on my cleaning videos, but I love the granite. I love how wide the kitchen is. Like you could put an island or a table right here easily. I never did, but you totally could. No big deal. Um, it is beautiful. I am love this kitchen. Oh my goodness. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, getting ready to cook dinner. I should be already done with dinner, but I haven't got that far yet in life. Um, 
I use. I got these little canisters from Walmart. I really like this stainless steel. I think it looks really nice. Got this little stay humble. I spend a lot of time in here, so I feel like I need some encouragement everywhere in my house. I just, you know how that goes. And I got this from TJ Maxx. I love this on my stove. It's been on my stove for, I think, two houses now. And I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. I always put my KitchenAid out. One, because I use it all the time, but two, because I think it's pretty. My friend had this made for me for Christmas one year, and I just love it. It's so different. This is like a tile, and I think it's like a vinyl sticker. Oh, I just love it. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it in my new house because I love it so much. So this is like some more encouragement that I keep out all the time. And I always have Mrs. Meyers, like the matching soap sets. When I use inevitably like all this dish soap, I'll have hand soap left and I'll just transfer this to one of my bathrooms. And this was one of my grandmothers. My uncle would buy her buy them for her and she just randomly gave me one one day so I said okay and it's been by my sink ever since this is my great grandmother's teacup it was one that she actually used and so when we were cleaning out my grandmother's house I asked her you know which ones were actually used because some of them were just decorative and um, this she said no like that her mom used this one so I keep this out all the time usually in my kitchen um, I always keep a bread box because I just hate having the bread out in the open and I haven't had a big pantry in a long time. Knife set, need to get a new knife set. Fruit in the corner. This is sugar and flour because I make homemade bread a lot. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link it here. <laughs> Over here in this little tucked away corner is actually one of my favorite corners of the entire house. Um, these dishcloths and I actually have another one hanging up. They were made by my grandmother and so I keep that out. I love this tiered stand. Kind of made it a little bit of a coffee kind of a station but I love like the faux green in it. I think it's pretty. Me and my mom have this joke about dancing in a kitchen so I always keep that out. Um, I keep an electric kettle out for dancing or for, for dancing. I keep it out for um, tea and then, because I'll get into stints where I drink tea every single day. Um, there's some room spray back there as well. I like to light a candle in here, so I just kind of push it over there the majority of the time. But I think this is so pretty. And then, of course, who doesn't have pictures of their children on their fridge? So this is a little bit of a mess right now. Is anybody else's broom still standing from the other day? Mine is. So, um, but my washer and dryer right here and my pantry is right here. This is like a cabinet that the homeowners used as a pantry and they left it and I was very, very, very glad. I always keep a step ladder in here, even though it's not pretty, doesn't matter. It's kind of messy right now, but this was actually a radio cabinet that was in my grandmother's house. And when the radio broke, obviously that would be right here. My mom took it and she used it for blankets. This is actually my grandmother's dishes. Um, it's not china or anything, it was just some dishes of hers. And I just love having that in my house as like a reminder. And I think it's really pretty. Um, I like that it's older, but I don't know, I just love it. And it was in my house growing up too, and so it brings back good memories. Um, these are just my journals, random things on top that I should take off. But this thing was um, in my grandmother's house. She didn't make it. I think she must have bought it from a friend of hers. And then these bowls were in my grandmother's house as well. And she would always put trail mix in them or like um, Chex mix in them. And then above it, I hang this marriage license. It is from 1881. And it is actually my great, great, I think, I think it's my great, great, yeah. Yeah, so it is actually my great, great grandparents' marriage license from 1881. So, and then this kind of frame, it kind of bevels out, like bulges out. And I think my uncle framed it like forever ago. It hung in my grandma's house and then... 
um, when we were cleaning out the house, like nobody wanted it. And I was like, I want it. So I think it's really cool. It's almost like oblong, like off center, but I still love it. All right, guys, this is my master bedroom. Look at my husband. He laid on the floor so he didn't mess up the bed till after I filmed. Gotta get that good YouTube content, man. <laughs> so, it is so dark in here, I'm so sorry, but this bedroom set is the Porter from Ashley Furniture, and the um, quilt on top came from Costco, and we just love it. Oh my goodness, we love it. Nightstands are great because they're three drawer nightstands, and I love that. They're actually two drawer, this is a one big drawer. And I love these crisscross, or I got these crisscross kind of lampshades, and I think I want to get a crisscross kind of white comforter to put at the end of the bed, actually. But what I keep on here all the time is I keep my wedding bouquet. So it was fake flowers. Um, we got we had a really, really, really small wedding, like really, really, really small. And so I made this bouquet myself, and... I always keep it out. I hung these ribbons on it, like tied them on and everything. Um, these are some devotional books that I read. Um, this is a Willow Creek figurine. I actually, my mom one year got this for me from like Pick and Save, which is now Big Lots. And it just has some angels on it. She got it like for Valentine's Day one year. I think I was about seven or eight. And so it actually has some stuff from high school. Oh, a random dollar. But these all go in my Letterman's jackets and like some random things like I don't know what these flowers are from, but little medals that I got, different things from high school. So I just keep it in there. And I feel like it survived this long, so I need to keep it. I love the Porter dresser. Oh my goodness, I love it. We need to get the tall dresser though as well. And I put like perfume on this side. I kind of have an overflow going on right now. Um, this is actually where the name of my channel came from. I just thought that was so cute. I saw it on somebody's channel and then I saw it in TJ Maxx and I was like, that's it, that's the name of my channel. This is another Willow Creek figurine. And then over here are my husband's watches. Nothing big. I try to keep it really simple up here. I don't know why I've always liked the three on this dresser. So, do you guys have sides of the bed? Because I change sides all the time. My husband, I drive him crazy with it. But, so sometimes that's my side. Sometimes this is my side. Right now, this is my side. Um... <laughs> Because I didn't really have a good place for jewelry and I was going to get rid of my jewelry box. I have um, these two small boxes and I love these lamps from Walmart because they have where you can plug in the cords. These, this mirrored box has bigger jewelry in it, like um, bigger earrings. And then this has all my stud earrings. This box came from Jordan. This little saying... I feel like I need to see it every day, and it came from Kirkland's. Uh, this little holder thing, it's just sitting on like legit a jewelry box, nothing big. It came from TJ Maxx, it's just a little velvet holder, and I love having everything else so I can see it, because I wear it more. So we're gonna go into, so this is actually my jewelry box, but it really doesn't have anything in it, because I was gonna get rid of it. I it came as like really light wood like this. So it came as like light wood like this. And this is super old, like, oh gosh, 14 years old. I got it the first year I was married and I just needed one. And somehow it always fits, even though it doesn't really match, it always fits, I don't know. And um, this doesn't really have anything in it. I always say I'm gonna get rid of it and then I don't. Um, these I bought from Target a billion years ago, at least over 10 years ago. These, I have a bunch of these, like, handkerchiefs, and my grandmother sewed the edges of them, like, crocheted this, so I keep them out. Um, my mom sent me this, a bill, it went right before I got married, and so it used to sit on our bed, but now it sits here. This was actually my grandmother's box, and it did have some, like, costume jewelry that she had, 
in it. It doesn't have anything in it right now. Um, this candle came from Target. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And this is something I got in a gift exchange that I've always just hung in my house because I really like the saying. So not all house tours can be perfect because then you throw stuff on chairs. This is actually a rocking chair that came out of my great grandmother's house. Um, but it has clothes on it right now because I didn't get that far. And then this is a long mirror from Walmart, I think. It's nothing special. So let's go into my bathroom. I'll show you my bathroom. So this is my ingenious thing to hang necklaces. Oh my gosh, this was a life changer, guys, let me tell you. And I really didn't come in here and straighten up, so forgive me. Um, another one of the coolest mirrors ever. And um, the granite countertops. So um, because I have lots of things and I only had a few cabinets down here, I just set my towels right here in a pile like just off to the side and it works it works really well this actually got at a fair tj maxx this was the first picture that me and my husband took together when we were like dating so this is like a 14 year old picture but i always keep it somewhere in our bedroom um this was uh my this was my grandmother's as well this little dish for a while my mom was sending me little dishes like this every time she sent me a box this is all the girly things, you know. One more sentimental thing in here. My bestie made this for me. So if you guys don't know, my name's Lacey. And so she made me an L. This is our pictures. And so I always keep it somewhere that I am a lot. And you guys know, when you have long hair, it takes a long time to blow dry your hair. So you're in your bathroom a lot. My bathroom actually has a skylight. So does my living room, interestingly enough. It actually has two in the living room. And um, it has really cool, like, subway tile in the shower. They redid this before. Um, well, like, we had lived here and it was being redone when we moved in. And I love this shower curtain. What do you guys think? I was so like, oh, it just seems like naughty to have it or something. I don't know. <laughs> but I asked my mom, I'm like, do you think that's weird? Do you think that's okay if I get that? Like 30 something year old, like mom, do you think that's all right? And I felt like it was okay because it was my master bedroom, restroom. So I think that's so fun. Don't you guys love it? I love it. I got it off of Amazon if you love it too.